Hi, everybody. I'm Melissa Klein, and um, I wanted to talk to you a little bit about uh, rejection. <laughs> Such a fun, happy subject. Right. Great. Cool. At the beginning of an art class. Um, but I kind of believe in dealing with things head on and uh, rather than tiptoeing around, because I find every time I tiptoe around stuff, it's usually a disaster. So uh, at any rate, uh, I wanted to share with you a story about how I was rejected by a gorilla, which is actually something that I would take more personally and did take more personally than I would from a human because I like animals better than most humans. Uh, so I was at the zoo and I was drawing and um, I was in the, you know, gorilla enclosure. Well, they wouldn't let me into the enclosure, but there was a big big plate glass window uh, to keep people like me out and um, the really good view of the gorillas, which were quite wonderful. And um, I didn't understand it at the time, but this, this gorilla kind of started to kind of gesture to me and I didn't really understand, think much of it, didn't know what it meant. And then out from sort of this little hidden side door comes uh, a zoo employee and they say, uh, Coco is actually gesturing to you to see your sketchbook. And they were like, and she never does this to anybody. And I was like, oh, really? I was like, so like, I felt so special that this gorilla went to communicate to me and that, and I was really excited. And, you know, that this gorilla had chosen, you know, it just was such a, such an honor. Um, so I very excitedly showed Coco my sketchbook and here I'm going to share with what I did this. Um, and I'd worked really hard and she was like, she looked at it and she's like, oh, you think I'm ugly? You know, I mean, she didn't sign that, but it was really clear from her expression, like, oh, really and then I thought all right well I'll show her this one and then she's uh, uh, and so that that hurt a little bit I thought well maybe she'll like this one better and then she gave me this look of like you really do think I'm ugly don't you you really hate me and I'm like oh you know because I really really wanted her to like this picture of her that I had done you know and that she kind of posed for a little bit with me and I thought we had a connection and we did but good feeling gone, right? And then I showed her this and she's like, what, you think our feet are deformed? What, what, this is all wrong. This is really terrible. And she was, she was literally like kind of shaking her head and just giving me this look. I wish I had a photograph of, it, of the, the look of, of disdain on her face, you know, for that. I mean, she was like my toughest art critic ever. Um, and then this, this is not her, this is one of the males. And she's like, she looks at me like, you're a pervert, you know, um, what's this with you? And the, like, you're just, ugh, you know, I'm like, and then she gestured and the zoo person translated and said, she wants to see the rest of your sketchbook. And I'm like, fuck, no. Uh, and, uh, but you know, <laughs> there was a lot of pressure in that moment to show the sketchbook. So I showed her some of my other things that I was had worked on. Yeah, uh, you know, and it was a sketchbook. So these actually I did develop this into a painting. Um, I'm rather fond of Tidy Whitey Man. This is devoted to the only man in the yoga class. You know who he is. He's this usually this weird little hairy guy who's always trying to be pre-COVID giving you know neck massages and stuff. Um, and uh, yeah, so that's him. Uh, demigod of bureaucracy. I was uh, at the time working as a special ed teacher and dealing with a lot of bureaucracy. She didn't like either of these. In fact, Didi Whitey Man, she was like, you were so gross, you know. And a friend of mine and I were joking about how, you know, there's these weird shorts that come out. You see people wearing them every summer. They're sort of loose and tight at this in all the wrong places. <laughs> um, and that maybe there's a weird wedgie shorts and Porium somewhere that people are buying these from and dragging their <laughs> things. Um, this is based on somebody I worked with. No, I did not show her because this is more of a comedy, but she seemed to get her shorts from that same place as well. Um, and I am also guilty of Oreo cookie legs um, uh, during the summer. So there's that. She hated this too. Coco was like, 
Oh my God, this is just getting worse all the time. Uh, this is more expressive. I was dealing with a lot of back pain, back and leg pain, and I just felt like my one leg was like shriveling to nothing. And Coco's just, again, like the, the mixture, at this point, Coco was starting to, I think, feel sorry for me. So she had like some pity in her expression, like, you're really awful and I feel sorry for you at this point. So like, she was, yeah. Because um, really Coco is a cool, cool, cool soul. Uh, no, didn't really like this. Better trailers and gardens, kind of like a play on better homes and gardens, but kind of uh, not to my white trash background. Um, better trailers and trash cans, something like that, my trash. Oh, working as a special ed teacher, that's exactly what it felt like, you know. Um, and, uh, but then finally, this one she liked. She was like, yeah, all right, all right, I can live with, you know, like maybe. <laughs> uh, and that felt really good. And then finally, I showed her this. This is my blue healer, my very difficult, naughty little dog, Willie, uh, who's not with me anymore, unfortunately. And she was like, yeah, yeah, go for it. You know, like, yeah. And that felt really good. Um, so when you think about it, there's quite a bit of rejection <laughs> as I'm scrolling <laughs> up in there um, before I, you know, kind of, but that's sometimes how it goes and you know you just kind of accept that as part of the territory with it um and I think the thing about it too is the most important person that you please after the gorilla is yourself and you know being kind to yourself but also um you know don't you know, don't get too worried, don't get too wrapped up in, in that. Um, we all deal with rejection, it all happens, you know, um, and actually, even though Coco didn't like some of those paintings, some of them actually went on to be sold and be quite successful on cards. So, you know, it's, it's all over the map. Um, but I think what's really cool is even if you get some negative attention, like you, it's a dialogue, somebody's actually paying attention. Uh, and to this day, I still feel honored that 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 Coco the gorilla sign language to me and reached out, and that actually says a lot about the power of art. Um, and who knows, maybe one day I'll get back to the zoo and do something that maybe she likes. I don't even know if she's still there, but let's try. I, ooh, I just got goosebumps. Um, so yeah, just another little mindset piece. And I'm looking forward to seeing what you do. And I promise I will not be as tough as Coco. All right, have a great day. Thank you for watching.